Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. My name is Joel Duggan and we are going to be playing Satisfactory again today. I got to give a shout out to start off the stream. We've got Blast Jordan with 100 bits, Sweet Sandy with 100 bits, Cosmic Dancer resubbed at tier 1 74 months in a row. Holy smokes, thanks so much Cosmic. And Mind Trip Media has used 100 bits. That means there's a hype train going on right now. We're at 40% of the way through level 1. If you'd like to participate, it's a prime sub, a tier 1 sub, or 100 bits. And uh, both of those subs will get you access to the Joel Duggan Discord. Calberti, oh my god, it's a Joel Duggan face. Yeah, that's me. You can see my face on the Spun Chunks podcast too. That's available at Spun Chunks, thespunchunks.com or the Spun Chunks on YouTube. I think it's the full The Spun Chunks on YouTube. Do a search for it. Should be pretty easy to find. Or do a search for me or Johnny, Pixel Riffs. Should be able to come up pretty quick uh, we are jumping into the save that we started the other day we were working on some uh, blueprints and we were working on some iron smelting and we have to deconstruct some of the things and I think I'm gonna move the space elevator I think that's the first thing we're gonna do today we need the space we're gonna jump right in so once again, thanks ever so much for that hype train to kick off the stream, folks. That's amazing. Really appreciate it. And it's nighttime. Oh, joy. Well, at least we know our brakes are going to be in sync today. Uh, yes, this thing is going to move. And the question is, where? I think we should maybe move it somewhere a little farther away. Maybe perhaps up there where it's going to be out of the way. That's probably a good idea. What is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven by seven over yonder. We shall do that. Do I have enough concrete? Probably not. Let's go change that. Oh, right. Well, I guess we have enough concrete in 28 out of 50. Well, probably not. Grab it over here. That should do. Raccoon of the Apocalypse, hello. I guess of Apocalypse. Not the Apocalypse, just any, any old Apocalypse. So I'm going to be building a factory down there, so I think the space elevator should go up here. So I have no fuel. I have no fuel for that. That's annoying. Well, I'll just do it this way then. See if we can get a straight line of foundations. Is that the grid? Yeah, I guess it is. out of the way. Give us a little bit of a ramp here. I should just be able to dismantle this. Do 
You're waiting for your nuclear pass to cook. Wow, you are really far in the game. One, two, three. So. And one, two, three. This is the middle here. That's not bad. Comes about to the halfway point. I think we might be a little bit closer on this side. So it's just over the half. Maybe just over the half on the front. This under. Somebody at Coffee Stain was twiddling their fingers and laughing at all of us when they made none of these buildings either like one or 0.5 foundations in dimensions. They're just laughing hysterically at the pain. If you haven't seen this built before, it is really cool. Especially now that we've got the project assembly hovering in the, the sky. Almost the end of phase four. Wow. We are just at the beginning of phase two. Sandy's got ice cream. I had... Hoof Prince ice cream on Sunday. It's vanilla ice cream from Scottsburn Dairy with fudge swirls and little miniature peanut butter cups, chocolate peanut butter cups, like Reese's peanut butter cups. Fantastic. That is the space elevator move. And we need a lot of stuff. That means, however, I can... I was going to remove this, but I think, honestly, I can probably just leave it and just change it to concrete and connect it up. So I'm pretty sure this is on the grid. I would have probably kept that. Wait for the truck to go by briefly. Yeah, we're good there. Okay. So rather than dismantle this, I'm just going to run around and change it to basic concrete. I'm sure we'll end up using platforms over here at some point. And I find that the regular concrete looks a lot better. So, space elevator moved. Uh, we now have to clear some space to add in our blueprints. And... What I think I might do is try to keep some of this going. We do have some extra smelters and miners, so we're going to try and um, keep up the production for the stitched iron plates. And I think we'll have to figure out what's happening with the rods as well. And I'll have to move my cable. So I'm going to try to clear that side first. And we'll see what we can do from there. I also need to figure out how to get more tickets. And I feel like we have some things that we could be putting in the awesome sink. I kind of want to ditch those, but I know that um, we're a little shy. On those for one of the next milestones. No, we need rubber for the next thing. And am I making encased beams anywhere? Yes.
Might as well put all of these in here for now. That's 300 are done, but we're going to need more anyway. Four trains. And this constructor is just going to sit in there doing nothing. But I think I want them there for when we need to do some things. Just manually. So, if we need to clear out this space, it looks like cable. No. Cables here. So it looks like wire and plates need to move. So how many plates are we sending over this way? This is 20, 40 plates. And that's all being sent to stitched iron plates. And we need 40? Yeah, we need 30. Okay, cool. So... We can figure that out, no problem. So we've got this space here. And these guys are currently doing rods and screws. They will eventually need to move. But I think we can move the plates around here. Just temporarily. So it's two constructors doing plates. And then we need to do another couple doing uh, iron wire. Some of these guys are not using their outputs. You are powering two of these. Yes. You are good. And it's 30. How much does this require? 30. So I need two of these. So we can just grab this one because it's not really in the way and that one and just send it over top here. rods and screws and then here we'll just go up a little further and that's going to be a tricky fit Probably too far, be my guess. Yep. That's right. Let's do... Do we have... We do. Okay.
I'll scoot through there nice. And then I'll put a splitter on this. If I should have, maybe I should do this first. Cool. That'll bring those in. Just need to power these guys. This is all going to be very temporary. And then these plates need to go all the way down. Connect to here. Gross. It's a splitter, so we move that. Get a little bit more out of the way. Bring them in from that direction. Where was that? That was over here. on three and go up four. It's that's up to there and then it's a matter of doing the export and I'll do the same thing here. We'll just load this up with our merger. And then we can just send these back over top. This is a really handy method. If you're ever looking to do some quick turnarounds, sending the, the, the uh, output back over the top is uh, really handy. And what is that? That is 40 plates? It's fine. It's not far enough or not. It's too long. It's too long. Darn it. I uh, guess we'll just try it here. That's 40 plates a minute. We'll double check that. Delara, hello, how are you? Good to see you. That's 40 plates a minute. It has the correct amount. Well, no, it doesn't have the correct amount of iron ingots because we're only pulling out 30 and we need 60. I need a merger on that one. There we go. 
30 out. 30 out. That's going into... That doesn't need to be... Mark 2. So that's 60 going in. Splitting up into 30 and 30. We've got 20 being made out of each one. So that's 40. And they're going along here in a very spaghetti mess. And then getting split uh, 20 and 20, which is more than we need. That's good. Sweet. Actually, I could probably... Point six two. Well, I'm not going to bother tweaking that. Alright, so that means that we can get rid of these two plate constructors over here because they are now no longer hooked up to anything. I find there's a little bit of leapfrog that happens at this stage of the game where I don't want to slow down my production of space elevator parts too much because we have to make so many of them. And uh, this will help us clear the way for new forge that will make life a lot easier once we get it all sorted. Okay, so we have that done, that done. These are technically not in the way. This is all other stuff. This was for those structures, as was that, and that. So now it's the storage, unfortunately, and we need to get our iron, our wire heading over in the right direction. So this is making 30 wire per minute, and I think that's all we need. A little bit, a little bit more than that. So what we could do is actually just lower this. Like this no longer needs to go up and over, right? So what we could do is just remove this, that, this as well, and just move the splitter a little closer. So we're doing 60 wire, and that should be more than enough. And then this guy is doing the cable, and we can put a pause on that for now. Because this is going to go underneath where we're building, so that's not going to be a problem. Uh, we could actually do the same thing here. I just move this. Okay, so let's move, relocate this setup to how do I want to do this? I need another constructor here doing wire, I guess. You know what? We've got the space here. Let's just... And you're gonna do... Cable? Sorry, not wire. 
You're just gonna flip around. Again, up and over can be really handy. You're working in a tight space. And then we can just take this, keep it low. Oh, whoops. Maybe not there. That clears a lot of our stuff out of the way, so we can actually build down here. I just have to turn this on with some power. That is now uninterrupted. And the only thing now we have to reroute is the power. A little bit too far, it's fine. Uh, there are ceiling mounts for belts in the awesome shop. Yep. Yep. Yeah, when you have them, it'll automatically switch. Uh, did I pick those up? I did, yeah. So you've got conveyor poles stackable. So now if I build a conveyor belt, so like if I grab a pole here and I want to put it up here, like it'll automatically give me like a ceiling mount if I want to. It's saying no because of the, the mode, but like you can turn them, you can... Do stuff like that. And then once you're up there, you can just kind of go right along the bottom. The only thing I don't like about that is if you're using items that are very small and flat, like cable or plates, you can't see what's on the belt. If it's if it's something like, like wire, then sure, it's awesome. Um, but I find something like, like the monitor that's happening. All right, we need to go around with this power. So let's... Take you, and we'll go well outside here. So this is connecting through there but I think I just connected that all up nothing just dropped I think we're good Momentary panic. Not that it would be a really bad thing. Now this is going to be 
100% in the way. That's coming right down the middle, and they are not going to play nice with those. So we unfortunately have to move the storage, and I think what I'll do is move it down there, because I'm not going to build anything over there. So I think we'll just kind of manually toss this. It was a nice idea, but I was a little bit ahead of myself, unfortunately. We will end up having to move the storage again at some point, I'm sure. How many are there? Seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus the one on top. That's empty anyway. I'm not going to bother with the signs right now. I'll just remember what's in them. Rods. Screws. Plates. Uh, rotors. Daters. And... Don't remember what came after that. I guess those. Function over form and realistic physics are not required. Yeah. I try to play like that. I try to like try to make it feel as realistic as possible. I um I'm really looking forward to doing some smaller builds in this playthrough. Stators today. I need one more for steel. stuff back here. We need Do you have some concrete? I do. That should allow us to put in the rest of the blueprints on that side. And I'll probably want to do that from a slightly higher vantage point. So just to put down lookout tower. And then the question is, of course, do we have the resources to build two more of these right now? Uh, this is the right, this is the left. So I want two of those. So no, I don't have everything I need.
<laughs> more rods, more plates. And concrete it is really cool. You can see the concrete is giving me the check mark because I have half in my inventory and half in the in the void storage. Like not void storage, what's it called? Dimensional depot. And that's because we've got this guy set up here, just slowly pumping in stuff. Uh, but I do have more concrete over here that I can just kind of top myself up. So as per usual, I've got a subfloor to the subfloor. <laughs> Seems to be a common reoccurrence with me. Yeah, the blueprints in the to-do thingy is very, very cool. I agree. Want more of those. And I'm going to need probably Mark III belts, which are steel. So now, I should be able to move this. So I want going that way. Yeah. See the little white line lining it up? And then all I have to do is just line it up this way. Freeze the hologram. That should be where we want it. We are in line with the middle, and we are, to me, I would say, in the correct spot. The middle of the five is in the middle of the foundation, and so we should be good. So we build. And then we do it again. should be able to do it from down here. Although it's harder to see that white line. That looks like it. Five is in the middle. Looks lined up to me. Man, that saves a lot of time. Connect these up. So there we have our half of our smelting all happening. Uh, and we can start to think about how this is going to get hooked up because we need 900 ore. Each of these is giving off 300, but each of these lines needs more. It needs um, 150. No, 450, right? We've got 30 times 15 is 450, yeah. So we need one and a half lines coming through here. And I don't have a belt that can do 450 yet. That's what the logistics mark four is for in the top right hand corner. So the good news is that we can get most of the way there. And I need to figure out what I need to do to get some oil. I know where to go. Can I do that? Oil processing, I am going to need to do that first before we can do logistics because I need rubber and I can't get the oil until I can get the oil extractor. So we need to select that milestone instead. Uh, this should actually be pretty easy to do. Uh, 500 sheets, oh, I might not have that. 
definitely have the encased beams, and I definitely have the pipes. Oh, I've got the 500 sheets. Motors, probably not. Oh, we're short. We can make more, that's fine. Motors. Rotors and stators. Neither of which I'm holding. I could have sworn I had more motors going on. Is that what you're doing? No. I think we can switch you to motors again. You completely empty? Rotors and stators. make the few motors that I need right now. I only need four? Six. No, four. There we go. Milestone reached. Crude oil can now be extracted and refined to produce various industrially beneficial parts. The byproducts of these processes will require careful management, but a capable pioneer such as yourself surely understands that. Mm -hmm. To improve efficiency, pipelines can now be optimized with valves to limit and balance their throughput. Nice. These were initially left out because Fixit did not want to overwhelm pioneers with complex pipeline management but they have since been re-added after my impassioned defense of your capabilities. Delara says, I'm good, continue to work on my factory. Look, so I can continue procrastinating about making a motor factory. Yeah, I think that's what we're gonna focus on here in the meadows is, or the grassy plains is a motor factory. I think that's the, the goal. We got eight minutes, nine minutes till that comes back. I'm gonna put these guys in here. And then rotors. I don't have any more stators. I don't think I have an alt for the staters either. Just the iron wire. I'm on the fence about whether or not I should um, go with iron pipes or solid sealing it. I mean, we don't have the iron pipe yet, so that could be one of the deciding factors. That's gonna be making motors, that's good. Our next milestone can be that one. And we're most of the way there too. Yeah, like if I go get, I could probably grab 400 of these. Well, maybe not. We're a little short on those. One, two, three, four, fifty. We might have a backlog because of the way that this is being produced over here, although it does not look like it. No. Okay. So we are consuming more than we are making on those. And what do I need for an oil processor? Refinery does not use modular frames that's good and neither does the oil extractor
There's going to be a weird lull here while I'm switching over to make new stuff where it's going to be kind of a pain. I feel like we're going to run out of inventory quite quickly. This is the real painful part is moving all of these screws. This is just making rods. Yeah, okay. So I could have another rod over here. That's screws. There's the rods. Yeah. Wonder if maybe the thing to do is to get um to get fifty percent of this up and running. But I guess really I need those I need those belts. Although I could get it running on the on the lower logistic belts. That penguin dude looking forward to and dreading changing my entire iron factory since I opened up cast screws and stitch plates. Yeah, stitch plates is something I went looking for on purpose because it makes the early game so much easier. Um, but yeah, we don't have cast screws. And at the moment, I think I can get through the early game. Like, I can get all the way up to motors without screws now. Uh, I just, the problem is that I don't have steel pipe. And I don't, there's one other thing I don't have. So all of this is going to be coming out basically this end. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it out and around. Like I think it's going to go straight out here and turn the corner and go into a facility over here. And I think it's probably better. I guess we could take it straight across. We could do that too. So I feel like this is going to be another kind of like sort of rectangle-ish building that will um, probably go above that rock just so I don't have to worry about building near it. And then... That will be something that we can probably use the back end for our steel because then we can bring the coal just directly into the building rather than having this truck run back and forth. So I feel like steel is going to be over there and we can where we get the iron for the steel. We'll have the ingots coming in. So hopefully that'll be a thing. Um, there are some other ingots nearby. Uh, that's copper. So they're down there, actually. So not super close by. Uh, those are impure up there, too. So I think I got the motors. I think really the next step is trying to figure out how we're going to move all those screws and rods. I could just move a lot of this down here too. We could, rather than trying to rebelt, I could just reallocate some of the space for stuff like, I could just do another assembler down here and have like the assemblers pull from the ingots here. Or I guess it should say constructors. Maybe that's the right way to do it. I know the end goal, like I know how I want to finish, but I just I'm trying to figure out how to leapfrog, and that seems to be the the bottleneck right now. Uh what are these? These are four megawatts a piece. 60 megawatts. We've got lots, lots of room. Yeah, okay. So we need... We can take these out of commission. So 
what are you doing? You're sending 120. So that's 60. And I could temporarily just send that into the input over there. So we could just run this the other way. Come on, logistics. There we go. And I'll just bring this down for now. That'll be 60 or, and we'll just see how far it goes. Um, we only need, I guess, two of them. I guess what I could do is I could overclock this machine at this point too, right? That's going to be 300, even though we can't do 300 yet. What I should do... Oh! Milestone exchange. Oh, the fix-it freighter's back. Uh, I should change this to 270 just for now. Because that's all the belts can handle. That's dumb that I can't put it there. So that's overclocked to 270, which means that that belt needs to be better. And that 270 divided by 2, 135. So that has to be Mark 3 the whole way down. This is already Mark III because that's how we built it in everything else. And then now we just need to hook this up to power. And so 270 is uh, 135, did I say? So 135 divided by 30 is four and a half. So we only need the first five here, so that's good. They'll just do their thing. Everything is good there. I just need to connect these belts up in between. And then we should have ingots coming out this side to do whatever we want with. Need rotors. Is that working? That's working. Good, good, good. Let's do, I think, modular frames. Modular frames require reinforced iron plates and iron rods.
And this we can just load in from here right now. I'll do an elevator or a lift. Now, here's the fun part. We can actually probably split this three ways. This is going to be overkill, but it'll work. as I like, but whatever. Actually, let's do this this way. And then I can do two constructors here. split these again. And this is where we unlock our iron wire. Because we now need it, want it, love it. Uh, iron wire. So we'll do iron wire. plates and then I'll worry about the balances later frames you were doing reinforced iron plates everybody's working or will be working soon and then what were you doing rods but you're not powered cool and then this guy needs more of these whoa accidental hyper tube you knew it was going to happen Dream time has passed an hour. Thank you very much, Sandy. I would be lost in gameplay. And just connect this up here. And then this. Whoa, don't get run over. Why are you so slow? Not getting enough rods. So hopefully, this will increase the modular frame production. That is taking a sweet time. 30 wire per minute and 18 plates. I don't think we're making 30 wire. 
22.5. Also, I need to make sure this is being split right. So this is 135 coming in. So that's 135. Uh, that does not need 60. It only needs 15. So once this backs up, it'll be fine. Maybe if I front load it, then this will go a little bit better. Uh, I can also use a Mark II belt here. Just to speed things up. Sometimes that will help with the splits, keeping that at a low belt. So we'll see. Anyway, uh, it is time for me to take that break. I want to stick to those today. It was pretty good yesterday, but sometimes I get a little bit sidetracked. If you're new to the channel, I take a break about once an hour. It gives me a chance to re refresh the coffee, grab a stretch, grab a glass of water, and uh, you get to watch the factory develop, I guess, in the meantime. I will be back in about five or seven minutes.
Okay, I think now that the sun is starting to come back up, we have a pretty good shot at moving the rest of the stuff. I think what we'll do is... I didn't really see... Oh, yeah, there, there. There, there, they're, they're working. Okay. So at least we know we've got some production ramping up here. So we are doing 100% on that. That's good. Um, how are we doing for numbers? Uh, we actually are going to need more than one bin. That's the other thing, too. That's good. Does that mean it's fine there. I should be good for um I just wanna see if I can get this rod thing going. Move I move I think you need to move the rods. Really, I just need to redirect them? I don't think I need to move them. I can just kind of bump them back and out of the way here, I think. Yes, yeah, so if I move that splitter back, I move both of these constructors back, and then I can just take the rods over there. Alright, let's try that. I really could have sworn that these had a light on the front of them. Am I making that up? I could have sworn that they lit up. I wonder if it has something to do with my effect settings. But I'm getting a slideshow. Wow. You don't remember lights? Huh. Uh, we can just take those back and move them over a little bit. Put that facing the wrong way? No. This is facing the wrong way. Rods, please. We're going to there. So I just need to redirect them the same way.
that really takes care of the rods. And that means that all of the previous stuff over here can go. Now it's just one screw constructor. How many are you actually making? 40. So I feel like I can just delete this. And we'll just change the output on this. That's fine. So we're dropping the screws a little bit uh, on the rotors, but I'm going to be dealing with some inefficiency for the time being. Uh, and then this is... where is that going? Why are you getting plates from over there? Right. Is that actually in the way? I don't think it's actually in the way. No. For now, not in the way. I'll take it. Okay. I don't think there's anything that's happening here that I don't already have automated. I think the only thing now, we've got 36 motors. I want to have some motors being crafted in the background, so we need to do some stators in the background, I think, for this. Yeah. Steel pipe and wire. Let's load this up. Pipes over here now. So this will craft while we're gone. some stators and then we can at least handcraft a few more motors if we need to. Uh, I need 25 of these, that's good. Oil extractor, oil refinery. I can scan for oil now I think. Yes. Pretty sure over here is going to be the closest. Or not. So that's normal. Twenty four and twenty three. I think that it's negligible. It's an easier trip out there, and I already know what's out there. Plus, there's probably some hard drives we can get while we're out there, too. Although, there are a lot of hard drives in the, um, the crater, too. Hmm. <laughs> Where should I do oil processing? Any thoughts, chat? 
Off to a four-hour block of meetings. That sounds dreadful, Penguin. Thanks so much for being here. Have a great day yourself, too. And thanks for watching the VODs. I really appreciate the fact that there's a lot of people checking out the VODs on Joel Duggan VODs on YouTube. Pictures on the internet say I might be wrong about the lights. Maybe it's a bug? Alright, so what do we need? I do not need ingots clogging up my inventory. I certainly don't need four stacks of rods. Grab some more biofuel though. I think I put that over here. Yes. Portable miners if I need anything. Should be okay. And the tricky part, of course, is that we're gonna need to bring some power with us. Although maybe we can use Can we do we can't do power yet, can we? No, we don't have oil power. That's another milestone. That's well on down the line. Okay. How much power does a refinery need? 30 megawatts. 40 megawatts. So we need at least a couple of biomass burners. I think we could be okay for now. All right, some hard drive hunting, some Ethereum getting and some rubber retrieval. Where is my Caterium node? It is right here. Need to remember to collect a lot of slugs while we're out here, too. So the Caterium is over there? Or over there? I think I see the bridge that I made. Oh, did I bring? I have. I do have no blusks. Excellent. That should give us access to Caterium in a much easier way than we have had before. Of course. 
maybe we'll make some of those right now. I chose the wrong miner. I chose the Mark 1. Started to run around with the scanner. Need more Mercer Spheres? Yeah, I need to do that too. How many Mercer Spheres... I need to get some Sam ore as well. We're out of that. Unfortunately, this is not going to have any power right now. Pure node. Wow. Um, Another slug. You are being annoying. I really feel like the hitboxes are really messed up in the 1.0 release. Like, it's really strange. It used to be a lot easier to point at just about everything. So this will come up here, and I think for now, the thing to do with Caterium is usually to smelt on site. So we can put down a couple of smelters. It's at 240 per minute, and this needs 45. I really don't think it matters. Five of them? I'd say we do two. So that's going to make 15 per minute, and a constructor is going to make quick wire. Wire needs 12 ingots per minute. Honestly, I can just do one for now. That's all I really need to do. I just want quick wire someplace I can come and get it. Let's do a single power pole. Did I unlock the major power poles? I did. Um. Can I switch while I'm here? Yes. 
So this goes a lot farther. But that's not connected, is it? No. I actually don't know. I don't know the distance for these. I guess you have to start one and then go from there. I thought that you could switch and just use your cable. Maybe if I use this. Yeah, it's not connected. It's not giving me a warning. That's annoying. We're going to have to move a lot of this stuff anyway. It's fine. Now I should be able to go from here and get... That's what I wanted. This makes life so much easier in this game. Like, look how far you can go. Ethereum. I should have just made a big one, but whatever. So this is going to be slow, but that's fine. It'll work while we are doing other things. Now I'm short on iron rods, though. We can always make those, I guess. Short on iron rods. What do those take? Oh, I can take that away. Now I'm good. Okay. Uh, Bumblebee 2 tractor for this one? Uh, maybe. Not right now, but maybe. So we need to um, pop out and get some rubber. And this is going to be a temporary... Um, I guess automatic situation. Basically, I have to set it and forget it, but it's a long trip to go get more. I think this is the way. Nope. Oh, yeah.
Wouldn't mind finding some Mercer Spheres along the way, too. What was that? A slug? Yoink. I think we already got the Mercer Sphere up here, because we've been out this way once before. And there is another hard drive out this way, I think. I'm not sure whether it's better to go here or to the blue crater for quick oil. I feel like the, the traversal is a lot easier to get out this way. That's why I chose it. Should be right over there. Oh, because I didn't turn them on. There it is over there. I will, however, scoop up some of this. Okay, there's some rubber. 119. Wow, that, that got us most of the way there. That's cool. Maybe I'll make some plastic, too. Anything else? Motors. I will take that. 52. Now, do I have the ability and for hard drives? No. Pretty sure I know which oil node this is, because this is the oil node that I've used in the other playthrough. Should be right over there. Need a ramp. There it is, right here. So we need, um, I guess we'll do foundations again. Oil extractor. Go the other way. And we need an oil refinery. They are large.
feel like that should be good. Not bad. I'll leave myself a little bit more room. Just in case I want to do some maneuvering. We need rubber. Polymer resin. Oh, right. I forgot about the polymer resin. And water. Oh, do, can I make a water extractor? Yes. Okay. We might face this the other way. Yeah, let's do it. Why does it need water? Oh no, I've got residual rubber. Right, I want just rubber. Crude oil. And heavy oil residue. I forgot about the heavy oil residue. So then residual rubber takes heavy oil residue no polymer resin okay I forget about the byproduct stuff how did I get residual plastic are those just normal maybe they come in automatically so this is going to fill up and stop no matter what because of the heavy oil residue so let's do two refineries. And I'll just grab the pipes. Rachel Oxy, hello. How are you? Always good to see you. And I miss the straight mode now that we've got these things going on. Not that it's a huge deal, but... Whoops. You know what? Let's just use these. going to do plastic that is going to do rubber how much power are we talking here 40 so 100 megawatts yikes that's at least four yeah maybe i only do one we might power one at a time These do 30 megawatts per. So if I do 30 and 40, man, 40 is rough. We need three of them just to run the two anyway. Logistics. 
So that. And now we just need to hook it up. You're going to make rubber. And now I just need to put out an output for these things. So we'll do two of these guys. Oh no, one of those should be fine. That'll be rubber. And then I need a buffer. And I don't have a big buffer. And I can't make that right now. I feel like it's one of those days where I'm just helter-skelter all over the place because I'm trying to do three things at once. Can I not make a buffer? I forgot about the fluid buffer. Can make one. I'm not really worried about it's going to fill up pretty fast. going to last a little while. The power is going to um, it's going to last longer than I think the buffer will. Well, maybe. Alright, let's see what we got around here while waiting for this stuff to cook. Uh, we should have another hard drive over this way. Yeah. Plus some stuff we can explode. I think this is just a slug. Oh, maybe it's a Mercer Sphere, though. I... I'm gonna give you a present. Oh! You're gonna get mad at me. I thought he was gonna wait till it exploded. I literally jumped out of my pants. That's funny. The UI got stuck on that too, it was weird. It is a summer sloop, cool. Whoop. Hitbox is not right. Surprise. Uh, hello? There we go. More of those is good. We watch the waves of the effigies and the shallows passing through the windows, and they're all the same. There is no residence growth. Sing. I just called the Fixit doctors. They told me there is definitely no danger from repeat exposure to these signals. Mm. In fact, they said it is good for you. I apologize, but the call dropped suddenly, otherwise they would have told you themselves. <laughs> the good news is you should run towards these strange and dangerous looking objects whenever you find them. Doctor's orders.
Another hard drive. Hey, computers. That's good. That gets us closer to using the summer sloop power. Fuel. Plastic. Some stuff. These are higher tier items, which is good. It's operational. Nice. I'm just going to write something down here. So let's put the ma'am down quickly, provided I can actually make it. We'll research the hard drive, see what we get. There's a lot more animals over here than there used to be. Like, look at this thing, this crab thing, plus the beast. Like, this is a lot of... Your waves left at our shores. When will you I'm so glad that even on Retaliate, grabbing the thing that they're protecting doesn't aggro them. That's nice. Got the slug that was over there. Should drop a pin for this. Oh, come on. Please make a better UI. I thought they fixed this. They were talking about being, not being able to jump and duck and stuff in certain menus. So don't press tab like a normal human to go to their next um, panel and then UI in this game. Uh, this is for drop pods. And there's another one up there. Any other slugs kicking around? Something over there. I've got a funny feeling an explosive is going to aggro those guys, though. We'll see. It might be worth... Well, we'll see. You get mad? Yes or no? I would say no. Oh, it's purple. So weird being over here because this is where so much of my time is spent from the other save and it's all built up. More oil. Not worried about the oil right now since we're not really at the level where we can mass produce anything. It's more about... Getting Mercer Spheres and Summer Sloop. And hard drives, specifically. Hello? far away. Yeah, he's too far away. All 
Alright. That's a decent round, I guess. In this area. What are you protecting? Anything? Yes. A slug. It looks nothing like the other savior, right? I will take free quartz, though. What is up there? Just a purple slug. I'm going to go over here and see where we are for power and... Probably have to flush that fluid buffer and maybe I'll switch it over to plastic. We're also coming up on my next break, so I'm gonna to try to head back before the sun goes down. Got our 200 rubber for the milestone. That's good. Um, I think I'm gonna switch this over to plastic, I guess. I don't know what we would need plastic for. I guess computers. I'm tempted to just actually let this go while we're on break and then get some plastic to come back with. That might be a good idea too. But we're gonna run out of power soon. So I think maybe the thing to do would be to... I don't wanna necessarily let this power run out. So if I stick around for a bit on break and then turn this off when we go back, we should have a decent amount of plastic. It's going to 20 per minute. We'd probably get about 100 plastic before we get back. That could be pretty good. Uh, so why don't I just find a good spot? Something scenic. Yeah, so it's a little early, but I'm going to pop away for my... Um, I'm going to pop away for my break. And I'll be back in about five or six minutes. And that way we'll have some um, plastic... And then I can shut this down and go back. And then that way, the next time we come out, maybe we'll bring power or something that we can actually utilize. Really, I'm not going to be able to do much with rubber or plastic until we get to trains. And this is kind of where we are. Um, this is where the game kind of forces you to explore. And then once you kind of know where everything is, you can start to figure out how you're going to move forward from there. Uh, so, yeah, let's, um, let's just go on a quick break. If you're new to the stream, I do this about once an hour. It gives me a few minutes to grab another cup of coffee. And a glass of water and gives you a chance to grab a stretch grab a friend bring him into the stream and i will be right back
Okay. That's a nice view, actually. I was watching a little bit of that as we were on break here. And we can flush that and grab whatever we can. Not bad. And now I think the easiest way to shut this down is just disconnect it here. And these should stop producing, right? Yeah, because there's nothing being consumed. They will no longer produce. Um, I think I'll leave this out here. Actually, you know what? No. We're just going to have it be a single, single node for now. That's good enough. This should all be good. Take that. That's off, and we're good. Cool. We're going to go all the way from a little over 300 plastic and a little over 300 rubber. I'm okay with that. The night sky is beautiful. Yeah, the sky box is, is really nice in this game. I know Total Eclipse is complaining about being in the dark all the time, uh, which reminds me, there is a cave over here somewhere. I think this is it. Might be able to find some goodies in here before we head back. Thought there might have been more. Ah, here's some stuff. Need those. That was gross. That was right in my ear. <laughs> I did not need that today. <laughs> Ugh. Obviously, a lot of these caves are easier to traverse when you have a jetpack because you're not forced to do the little parkour tests they want you to do. Lots of doggos around. I think this is technically the doggo cave. Oh, hey, look. Helmet. That's fun. See the zapper? More motors. I thought there might have been a hard drive when I saw that orange part. Guess not. Uh, is the wreck up high? That's a really good question. I'm not sure how it would get in here. Man, there's even spiders on this thing. That's all kinds of no. This came from there. Yeah, I think the doggos have, have brought the stuff in. I think that's the idea. I think it's the game's hint that the doggos will bring you something if you tame them. The cave just keeps on going. This would be an intense experience if it was the PvE was on for me. I don't know how fun this would be. All the water. A little bit more quartz is fine by me. Not like it's a lot. That just kind of goes around in a circle. All right, I'd say that's probably good. Let me just head back.
You know, it's it's faster to um, consume, but the biofuel is not terrible in the jetpack. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. I didn't see the MAM pop up. Did anybody see the MAM pop up during the autosave? I'm not sure if that's done or not. I hadn't looked for it? Cool. Oh, you know what? I had the photo mode on, so it might not have shown up. Oh, that's not the right way. Looks like a dead end, maybe? Yeah, go this way. I'm trying to take the long way, see if there's any other hard drives or any immersive spheres or anything like that I can spot. Certainly spotted a tree. around here. That direction, you say. Didn't seem super close. So I'll grab it while it's here. We're pretty much set, I think, for um, power shards for our mining. Are you mad at me or are you dead? You're mad at me. Some of these would be really challenging. Three crab shells? Like that's that's nine bad guys at once to deal with all the time. I think there's quartz down that way. There's certain parts of the map that I'm definitely not very familiar with. Where are we here? I should go I guess we'll go straight Maybe not. I guess we'll go this way. Man, spinning out with this tractor is a little bit too easy. And this should pop us up by our coal power, I think. Yeah, there's the drop pod we already have. That's the one in the, in the lake. Oh good, we can drive across that. I was worried I was going to have to make a bridge or get out and go around. So we only got the two hard drives, I think? I 
Yeah, there's a quartz cave over that way somewhere. I just haven't figured out exactly. I know where it is in general, but I don't remember the actual paths to get there. Don't think we had anything in there. Nope. I will top that up while I think about it, though. So, I think we should be able to get most of that next phase. Uh, leaves that. We can put that in there. Slugs. I think I'm going to turn the quartz into... I don't know if we have any quartz milestones. Not really. Okay, cool. So I can just turn that quartz into quartz crystal and not worry about it. And we should be a lot closer to be able to grab logistics now. So I need 300 of you. One, two, three. I need 400 of you. I think I'm going to need more than that. And the rubber we should have. Yeah. Real close, 14 short. Rods. Logistics Mark IV is what we want. It is always really nice coming back to the factory. You're right, Sandy. It's like coming home. Fourteen plus. Might as well just make a good chunk. Probably 24. Mark 4, here we go. Milestone reached. The transportation of resources can reach new heights of efficiency. With the Mark 4 belts and lifts, the truck, but even more importantly, your effort. Handling a large and complicated vehicle like the truck <laughs> should come easy to a well-trained pioneer such as you. They are an obvious improvement over tractors concerning industrial purposes. Improvements for personal use were not measured. <laughs> In other words, they're really tricky to drive. Surprise. Excellent. All right, what's our next, next goal? Uh... I don't think I really care about packaging fuel, although this would be really good for the jetpack. 200 plastic, 400. We could do that, no problem. This is a lot more challenging, but it would be the next step, I guess. Hmm. And we've also got tier six. We've got industrial man oh, manufacturers would be nice. 
even if we use them manually to craft stuff or trains um trains require computers i think though so i would say i am less worried about power and more worried about i think getting this milestone so we'll set that one now we really do have to focus on getting some motors going how are we doing for our space elevator stuff it's this one uh one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so we're almost halfway there and i don't know where we are with our smart plating got a good amount of that I don't know if we need that much. We need to do, is it? Engine, I haven't unlocked the engine. Maybe that's what I need to look at in our milestone is maybe focusing on how we unlock the space elevator parts. So, Aha, okay, so I chose the right one. Okay, good. So we're focusing on those. And I think I was just going to look them up. I think I looked them up on the wiki last time. It's not going to let me do it. There we go. Um, motors, smart plating, and... Uh, rubber. So that's going to be a, the slow go is the rubber. Uh, and then adaptive control units. I normally wouldn't look this up if it was my first time playing the game. Uh, oh, they need computers. Oh yeah, that's... We are a ways away from finishing that. And what's the other thing we need? First health framework. Yep. Well, uh, we need two smart plate per minute. Two smart plate for every one modular engine, and we need we need a thousand smart plates. I think we have that, so we're okay. I think to start ripping down all the stuff that's feeding into these machines, we just have to make sure that this one keeps going for now. So that's good. We can start to tear some stuff out happy about that and the other thing that I wanted to do quickly is go over and get the Caterium and maybe we'll sort out my inventory briefly I wish that these little smoky stink lines would go away even though we've just you know we've destroyed the stuff for it that's fine uh, oh I've got rotors in two places here That's probably a stator. Maybe I should just leave one stator in here just so we know what it is. Grab those. Uh, I will take the screws. I think I'll make another one of these for the extra bits. Plastic and rubber I don't need right now. And maybe we'll do one of these over here. I'll move any of my technical stuff. I 
think that's good. Let's grab the tractor and see how much Caterium we can bring back. Unlock a couple things in the ma'am. Oh, actually, let's... <laughs> I'm all over the place. Uh, let's check the ma'am. I forgot to check the ma'am for the hard drive. It's got to be done by now. That has to be 10 minutes. Yep. Uh, it's this one at the bottom. Altered to tempered Caterium ingot and alternate electronic electrode circuit board. That's interesting. Petroleum coke. Yeah, not interested in that. The old rudder, we could remove screws. All right, we'll just scan the next one. Did I, did I not get more than one? Or did I get more than one? Maybe I only got the one hard drive? Oh well. Something that's nice about these power lines is it keeps your landscape a lot cleaner. They look a lot cooler. Whoa. Rock there. How we do it. Oh, beautiful. Happy to see it. That's close enough that I don't think I need to really worry about it for too long. We'll be able to sort that out eventually. Alleyoop! Roo! And I guess I can just put this in the end. Or maybe just, maybe just in this one here. After we do, I think I need 300. Our 2000 is what I have. Smart splitter is what I'm going for. I need those for our starter factory. St starter, air quotes. Zipline unlocked. When equipped, the zipline facilitates travel along power lines, regardless of whether the line is powered. Note, based on previous Pioneer events, Fixit recommends not using ziplines during thunderstorms and typhoons or while drinking coffee. <laughs> Can you use the coffee mug while you're ziplining? That would be fun. Power pole. Uh, we want to do these for sure because that gives us access to smart splitters. Analysis of AI limiter complete. Research completed. AI limiter recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. Thank you for being awesome, sweet Sandy. I know the bots are real this week. Um, wish there was more I could do, but I think we just have to kind of grin and bear it. Oh, chatbots. Uh, so that needs AI limiters, and this needs AI limiters. I should be able to make AI limiters now. Oh, that's the wrong thing. We need limiters. We need 10. More progress. Ooh, Caterium. Oh, I need one more. Reinforced iron plate. Yeah. 
Smart Splitter Unlocked. The Smart Splitter offers advanced settings that can improve conveyor belt logistics. So somebody in chat yesterday was asking about the Smart Splitter. I can't remember whether it was Snuggly Boo Bear or somebody else. But for those that are wondering, I need at least a little bit more material. But they are very handy. So what it'll allow you to do is select which item goes in which direction. And you can't control amounts, but you can at least control which direction things are going to, which is great for storage. So you can have a bunch of things being sent to storage. And when you use a smart splitter, you have the input on the back. And then when you interact with it, you can say, let's say I want, um, cable to go left and I want copper ingots to go right and I want nothing to go forward or I can have what's called overflow and that is just like anything that's excess so you really can do a lot of cool stuff with these uh, they're a little expensive but they are very very handy to have in more complicated builds like factories that are doing more than one thing it can be very very handy uh, what are we doing now? We're still making staters out of this thing, or are we done? We are done. I feel like I should make myself... What are the next things? Motors, it looks like. Yeah, motors and plastic. So let's switch you guys back over to motors. Do I have an alt for motors? I don't think I do. I don't know if there is an alt for motors. No, we've got components that are alternate for motors, but nothing else. So let's do rotors and stators. It's two, two to one. So we'll do staters up there. I think I've got two stacks of rotors. If not, I might have more rotors stacked up over there. Just the one stack of rotors. These are backed up. I don't know if that's good. Doesn't look like we're gonna be backed up on rotors at all. Nope. That's the bottleneck. Okay. Well, we, maybe we need to stop making smart plating. That means that this should be something that I can take more of those from. And that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's twelve hundred. That's more than enough. So I think we can do a kill on the rotors. And we'll just send that into a bin for now. I need more of those. I don't think this was getting rotors. This was getting... No. Okay. So, I can put the Caterium back. Or was there more Caterium stuff I needed to unlock? Smart Splitter was the main goal. 
I don't think I need power switches right now. Programmable Twiddler is way beyond my needs. High speed connector. I could unlock that. I don't remember what that's used for. We can find out though. Make them in the manufacturer, but they are used in a bunch of stuff that I don't need right now. Okay, so that is not a priority. It's nice to know that rather than wasting stuff, you know. Um, that's an easy get. We should maybe try the power pole every now and again. That's handy. I think that unlocks it for the wall as well, which is good. Power pole mark two unlocked. This provides additional power connections compared to the power pole mark one. I would really like to get to a point where I can unlock the summer sloop. Um, we only picked up 10 computers. So I thought I was going to get a lot closer. more capsules. I just realized they have like guts in them. <laughs> Gross. I did how did I not notice that before? I just, I turned around and it was just like, was that pink? I feel like that was pink. Now I know. More coupons. Is that the only two we have? I think we, I guess we spent all the others. Anybody else feel like you should be able to get this a lot closer? Two coupons. Is there anything we need in two coupons? Oh no, I have to do the wall two there. I guess it's, now that I have the technology unlocked, it's available. Monster DNA soup. Yeah, really. Light control panel. I might save up and go for a customizer, you know. Stairs would also be cool. Actually, I would say the most useful would either be beams or uh, catwalks, modern catwalks. Right, we'll hold off until we get more tickets. And I guess I could sacrifice a little bit of the Caterium. What were AI limiters? They were Caterium and something else? Yeah, let's just see what we can get with thousand quick wire. Okay, so now, like I said, I think we can rip out. We're done with the smart plating, so we can remove 
all of this except for that one there get our power shards back and that reduces the amount of stuff coming in here oh no that's gonna stay there or does it no that's being fed there so this is getting that's sending plates and that's not an obstruction it's really just the storage i guess we've got to move now to complete this other side because we now have mark four belts which re reminds me save the game Confirm. Excellent. Uh, now we've got to do the tedious thing of moving all of this stuff. again. So I'm just going to do the smart thing and just empty my inventory into these two. That we can just come over here and do probably one at a time. You're empty. You are being filled up. Ports. We'll just send you over this way. This was quick wire. Okay. And move that from here. I'm not going to bother doing the signs again. I'll just suffer through till I can get the final storage worked out. And that's copper sheets, which we are no longer making. Cable. And really, that's over there. I feel like we're probably solid on cable. Yep. Wire. That should be concrete. And then this is our storage for that, which is no longer being used. So we can actually move those as well. Oh, did I forget all the signs? I did. Glad I caught that. They weren't sticking out above the concrete. Totally would have missed that. Which one 
that steel, let's put the steel beams in there. And that's also empty. Whoops. And we're not quite there on the versatile framework, but that can actually just stay there because that's not in the way of what we're trying to do. So now I need to build three more of those. But we have to do the right side. I think we're good. And I can get the storage container off of that list as well. So now, when we build the right-hand side, I guess the thing too is to remember that to mouse over them, you have to see, to wait sometimes to see which one's which, depending on how long your file name is. So this should go this way now. And I guess we'll start with this one. And we're getting that little green arrow to indicate that it's working. Uh, that looks like it's going in the right way. It's just not lined up this way. That's what we want. The outputs are all on this side, or inputs are all on that side, outputs are on that side. That should be what we want. Easy to delete should it not be what we want. All moved and done this time, yeah, so far. I'm looking for, there's the white line for that one. And I just want, is it gonna give me, no, it's not gonna give me an, a weird. I wonder why it's lining up off center. That's, that's peculiar. I guess it's maybe not a symmetrical build. Be my guess. But that's lined up the way that I want there. Facing the right direction and good. Having a blueprint dismantle mode means that if you misplace it, it's really not the end of the world. And for anybody else that's wondering, that might be new. If you use H to lock your holograms in place, you can come and check them like this, which I think is really cool. Looks right to me. Excellent. So now we can start to ramp this up a bit. I guess... We'll have to get some more of the proper belts because the Mark IV belts take encased industrial beams, which I'm not making automatically anywhere. I have a couple hundred. What I should do is switch concrete and steel. Hmm. We need another smelter, I think. Forty five per minute. What's on that? More than forty five. Hundred and twenty. Yeah, probably a hundred and twenty. Yep. 
So we could make one more smelter. I also have the solid steel ingot recipe too. So it's three iron ore and three coal. What's the solid ingot recipe? I feel like it's better. Uh, two iron and two coal for three out. I think it's 50% cheaper. Yeah, it's, it's two of each of these instead of three. All right, that might be a future problem. What I want to do here, I guess we could sacrifice our speed at which we are making these versatile frameworks. Our seal beam is already kind of low. 45 and 45 is 90. This needs 60 per minute. How is this slow? Oh, this making two. Yeah, okay. Hmm. I guess I'll leave it for now. We can always just add some beams to a to an assembler and do it manually for now. That's going well. How are we doing for tickets? Just one. You are too slow. Boundaries are slow, need lots of ore, yeah. So I'm discovering. So these machines can now be set up in a way that they are going to be uh, permanent. Uh, we also are at a bit of a stopping point here. So what we need to look at now is the fact that these are doing 450 per line. However, we now have a conveyor belt if I can stop pressing the wrong button. 480. So we now have a belt in here that can handle everything. But what I like to do with these is um, sometimes split them up a little bit. And we do have a little bit of room here, which is why I did this. So what we could do in this situation is maybe go with a little bit more ceiling room. And this is going to take... Uh, that's the output. So I guess we'll do a little bit of angling here. That's the wrong button. So here are our two input lines. Input there and input there. And what we can do is split this. So this is a splitter and it'll send um, some up this way and I could split it and go down the other way if I wanted to kind of fill the manifold from both sides but what I'd like to do is maybe move that to be back here a little bit and this is all gonna be under the machine anyway so um, we could also put it in this position here too and just change the way that it goes in But that's one possibility as well. Saves us from going in that direction. And then what I do... Uh, oh, wait a minute. No, that doesn't give me enough room. That doesn't give me enough room. Let's look at it on this one. So I do a splitter here. 
probably like that. And then what I do is I grab a lift and point the lift in that direction. So this will take whatever line comes in and split it in half. So half of it will go up this way and start at the other end, which means that I've put these all in the wrong direction. Because they're being fed from the back. So I'm not doing that. I'm not redoing the blueprint at all. So never mind what I'm saying. We're just going to go straight in. Um, so each line needs 450. We are going to need some balancing. Scotsman UK, you're raiding with a party of 28. Welcome in, folks. Welcome, welcome in. Uh, guessing the sun is about to go down. You are correct, Sandy. You are correct. Welcome in, folks. Thanks, Scotsman. I really appreciate the raid. Hope you're having a good stream, uh, or we're having a good stream. What were you up to? Are uh, you playing Minecraft? Um, what were you doing in Minecraft? True Purple, good to see you. Kel Froke S, hello, welcome in. Glam Pixie, hi, good to see you. Lots of people that are part of my community are already coming in with Scotsman. We've got uh, Dab2014, welcome in, hi. Good to see you. Just waiting to see what Scotsman was up to. Minecraft, for sure, but like what what were you doing in Minecraft? Is you're still working on the Ravager build? True Purple subscribing at tier one. Thank you ever so much. 68 months. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, Scotsman UK. Uh, been building out of a forge for when we're dropping recruited Ravagers into the castle. Okay, cool. So still on that Ravager build. Big build. Uh, looking forward to seeing uh, images of it on the Sponge Chunks Hangout this Saturday. Hopefully you'll be around for that. Uh, thank you ever so much again, True Purple. That's amazing. I really appreciate the support. Uh, folks just coming in with Scotsman's Raid, uh, I know there's a lot of overlap in our community, so if you um, know this, I apologize for the spiel. Uh, but if you are new, my name is Joel Duggan, and I podcast and stream full-time. Uh, you can check things out like the Spawn Trunks podcast, all about Minecraft. We're going to be covering Minecraft Live this Saturday, the 28th, and you can also listen to things like the Citadel Cafe, uh, another podcast about sci-fi and fantasy entertainment. I just went to go see Transformers 1 last night with uh, Stephen ESC. And uh, that was a really good time. Uh, good movie. We will be talking about that at some point on the show. Um, I am on Twitter and Instagram. Very easy to find, Joel Duggan. And of course, I'm on Patreon as well for any kind of support that y'all are interested in for uh, your favorite streamers. Um, Patreon is always a great way. Uh, also, Tier 1 and um, Prime subs are great too. And Tier 1 are 25% off. So that's the deal. Uh, Dab says I love the spiel. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, if you're new, I'm, that's where you've probably heard my voice before, is, is Minecraft podcasting. So we'll flip back over here. We're playing Satisfactory. Uh, Satisfactory is the game that we've been up to for the last couple of weeks. And what we're trying to do is um, figure out where our ore is going to be going into all of these smelters. So we've got 30 smelters now geared up to do 900 ingots. And we use blueprints to lay this all out. And now I need to figure out the belts that are going to go with it. So we need 450 on each side. And that's going to be pretty easy because we're going to be splitting three miners. Each of which are doing 300. So we'll have 300, 300, and 300. And we'll split it. Um, we'll split one, probably the middle one. And then combine it with the other two. Moving 150 to one side, 150 to the other. And then having a 300 line or a 450 line, so I only need two lines. I just fell through the floor, I think. Um, so really the load balancing is probably gonna happen outside of this. So really all I need to do is just run down this belt and just upgrade everything.
And we'll take this out to here just to say that's where it's going to go. We'll add that. And then we've got to do the inside. I kind of wonder whether it would be worth doing a little lift in here. Just to be able to walk through. Those have got to be the right speed though. I think for the sake of being able to walk around down here, that might be a good idea. I did not know that they were going to hook up, though. That's really cool. So, Sandy, I'll give myself another couple of minutes before I break just because of that raid that came in. Appreciate the reminder, though. That's the ore, that's the ore, and then this is going to be the output. The ore will not come out. The ore will eventually all get smelted up and it won't be a thing. So normally, I would have had this um, blueprint equipped with the right belt, but we designed the blueprint before we unlocked the belt, so I kind of had to go with it. One, two, three. One, two, three. I think we're good. Oh, nope. No, that's bad. Don't want that. I don't know that those hooked up, you know? Oh, maybe they did. Just slow. Okay, next, power. And I should probably do something a little bit more central. Shouldn't mean everybody's got power. Yep. Uh, these guys just don't have... Oh, these guys don't have power. So they're smelting, they're just not sending the stuff anywhere. And then these guys just don't have the goods because we don't have nearly enough material coming in to support this. Now I just need to figure out where the export is going to go. And my guess would be some sort of central output here. So this is probably just not going to be there. We're going to have two lines of 450. I feel like we might as well keep it as simple as possible and have those two lines stay separate. There's no reason why we would want to combine those. 
So I'd imagine right here somewhere will be my export. Uh, let's grab... Unfortunately, I don't think we have... No, we don't have even... We haven't even unlocked conveyor walls. Maybe that's the thing to look at in the awesome shop. Conveyor walls are five tickets. How do I want to do this? Do I need a conveyor wall? Door walls. Gate hole. I might want to go with a gate hole, you know? We're so limited on, on tickets this early on. Yep. I say we just kind of make our own so it's probably going to come out there two different lines um maybe with room for three if we want to So this will be, oops, come on. That'll be 900 ingots, 450 and 450 on either side. And what it'll look like inside is more than likely something like this. And then we can just send that on to whatever we want. Probably steel right here. Cosmic Dancer gifted a tier one sub to Aldabar. Thanks very much, Cosmic. That's amazing. I really appreciate the support. Good to see you as well. That was a 12 month gift courtesy of Cosmic Dancer entering the fifth month. So it was just a a resub shout out. 37 months is a lot of months. It is indeed. Thank you so much. Appreciate the shout out for Cosmic Aldebar. Very, very cool. Uh, I do need to stick to these breaks now that we've had a few minutes with the new folks coming in from the raid. Uh, I should let you know that I do take a break once an hour. And it is that time. You get to watch the factory in motion. As much motion is happening as we've been sort of cutting things apart today. Uh, but it has expanded. It feels a little bit more robust. So when we come back, we will um, sort out the iron and I think rip out a lot of this other stuff and be able to start anew. So uh, give me about five or seven minutes, folks. I will be right back.
So I think it's time to start to put the um, the shape to the iron hide smelter. <clears throat> and to do that, we're going to have to move some stuff out of the way. And I am okay, I think, at this point, putting a pause on some of our our production. I mean, we're, we're halfway through the 2500. I can't make the other stuff yet. We're just kind of storing a few things over here. So that's good. We can remove this stuff. We're slowly going to clean up this area and get it to look more like a building that's been placed in the ground. And, um, yeah, the Scotsman, the factory is taking shape. Yeah. And, uh, and thanks. Yeah. The, um, the, the color scheme is pretty good. I, uh, I based it off of the transformer colors for like the Autobots for now. We're, we're going to expand on it a little bit. Uh, we have, um, this one, uh, Ironhide is what we're basing this particular factory on. And then we're going to move on to different colors too. Uh, question when Joel gets back. How stable have you found the trucks to be? They used to be a little bit janky, but not, uh, notice at least one roaming around delivering coal. It seems to be running okay. No, uh, the tractors are cool. I don't know about the trucks. I haven't unlocked trucks yet. Or I have, but I haven't built one yet in in uh, Update 1 uh, or the 1.0 release. Uh, but the little tractor is... He's, Bumblebee is doing fine. He's just scooting back and forth, delivering coal. It's all good. Uh, they're hard to drive manually. I think they're a lot harder to drive. Raven Trickster, hello, good to see you. So one of the setbacks here is that we um, we don't have all the decoration bits that I want. So I need to figure out how to get more um, more points. And I think one of the ways to do that is going to be with our Sam stuff. So I may try and sync some of that. If that would help. Twenty-eight of those. I feel like the recipe for Sam um, reanimated Sam. One twenty to thirty, and I need a manufacturer for the other one. Or manually, it is. six per so I can only do five and that's not really enough to do anything in here 47 29 47 yeah I need a lot I think I'm just gonna sink these for now I'd rather have the tickets if I get even more than one ticket I don't know if I will well maybe Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. How much were the catwalks? Were they five? Yeah. All right, what other architecture bits are we going to need? Probably... I really wish I had more for the customizer. Coded foundation would be too expensive to make. I feel like the chrome finish would go good. The chrome finish would go good, I think, with um, with Ironhide. It's got some chrome to him. What do I have, like, a lot of that I feel like will get me some tickets? I guess some of the stuff I can just toss in there. I should just make another awesome sink and just start throwing a bunch of bunch of crap into it. Leaving you to stream on your own now, says Sweet Sandy. Thank you ever so much for your help today. I really appreciate it. Enjoy the rest of your evening. So maybe what we can do is start to fire some of this other stuff into 
awesome sinks, maybe. The awesome sinks are global. So what are these producing? These are producing nine plates per minute. This needs three. So it's being split here just the once. Let's just maybe um, that's fine. That'll get us a couple of tickets. And I can keep this going without disturbing anything here. It is the rotors that I'm about to ransack because of removing all of the steel that they need for them. Uh, also, plates are going to drop too. Okay. Decision made. I am just ripping this out. And what I should do is not just trash that stuff. I should just constantly throw it into an awesome sink for points. Even though it's going to be very little. Uh, I feel like that's going to be the right configuration for all of these. This one coming in from the side. More than likely. look at what's happening over here. I don't think I want any of this. I think we want it to have a slab attached. That makes sense. Uh, this is the middle, so two on either side. Probably good. Yep. Time to shut down the whole, the whole thing. We will reroute iron ingots as they need. And then that's the middle. The middle. One, two. So I want the inputs to be the inputs on the side. No, the inputs are in the middle here. So they are unfortunately in between. So we'll put the input here. So I'll grab some walls. where we want the input to go.
And that's going to go away. Some of this power is going to have to go away too. I have to do a better job on the power. I think what we'll do here is have the swine come in this way. Oh, that works out quite well. I think. These lines. So this is going to have to go here. You're still outputting? Yes. That's not the throughput. That's the throughput. So I can remove this line. And you. It's going to shut down in a lot of stuff. And that's fine, because this is the power here for now. We can make this look a lot tidier later. Powered. Good, good, good. And I guess I could load balance in here, couldn't I? So I need a splitter that's splitting one line and merging it into two. And then I would just need, oh yeah, that's really tight. Then the mergers are gonna be like right, right next to one another. Yeah. I don't know if I want to do that out here or in there. I have two... You'd think two foundations of space would be enough, but I don't know that it is. What's really funny with this kind of stuff is that I know the math and it's easy. The problem is that I don't know how I want it to look aesthetically. I think three lines here would look cool, but then I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the three lines once they're in here. Because they've got to go one in there and one in there. And I guess I could go high. I do have the room. So we could take the splitter I and then have mergers here. Yeah, that'll work. Okay. It's just going to be a little snug. So this will need to be a mark four. And I don't know. I might have to move those a little bit. be able to squeak by. Nope. 
I generally don't like doing that. I find it... i just not a fan. That's one way we could do it. And then we would have the other one come up high and split in between. So this would be splitter up here. And that should allow us to do this. Oh, that has to be higher though. Does that show through at the top? Probably not. No. Okay, cool. And this will be a Mark IV split in half. So that's 150. So this has to be... How do you line things up when they aren't lined up with control? Um, how do I, uh, Galactic Moon, can you, re can you be more specific? Like, I'm happy to answer. I just don't know what you mean. I use control to line things up. Um, you can also line things up um, in steps of two. So if that's where your belt is, right? If I wanted to make this a turn, right-hand turn, if you go um, two spaces. Then it'll make a nice tight turn. Is that what you mean? And that's just me being used to it um, from playing the game for a few years in early access. So now we just need to have these hooked up. With, uh, with the where those white lines pop up and you can center it, I guess it's kind of hard to explain. Yeah, I mean, you there's, there's the lines from these, like it'll give you an indication like there, it'll say that'll work, like output to input. So it'll give you that. And if you hold control, then you can snap other things to it. So like there it's snapping to the conveyor pole. And then here, if I lock that in place, that's snapping to, I think, that line there, right? So my idea is to bring um, these three belts into here and go up on a lift. And I guess I'm going to use this foundation platform. So what we'll do is we'll have um, three Mark IVs like this. Thank you. 
So this is going to be a, a bit temporary. Because I'm going to need to come back with more decoration and figure out how to make this look good. But at least functionally, we'll get our ingots back up and running. And then inside, I'll just grab one of these. That'll output to there. Now I gotta rethink the power, of course. But now all we have to do is just line up these miners. Uh, these all have to be at 300. Now this one, we might want to actually point in the other direction. Never thought about that. Mm, they're pretty close, actually. We should probably leave those the way that they are. And instead, probably focus on this one. And so for here, I'll probably just make this one. Oh, I'm out of encased beams. I don't know if I have more of those. I feel like the patch this morning really sped up the, um, the Blade Runners. Or the jetpack after the Blade Runners, I feel like is faster. Ooh, am I out of encased beams? We might have to start making those again. I am. Snuggly Boo Bear, hello, welcome in. It's going pretty well. I left, you were streaming. I am back, you are still streaming. Yes, Cosmic. I'm putting in some longer days. On satisfactory. I just feel like it takes so long to get stuff done. Let's make some of these now. I feel like we've done motors for a while. I'll take those. And we'll do cased industrial beams. Yeah, that jump is definitely faster, I feel. So this should be scooting along. Don't know why it's going so slow. I guess they're not going anywhere, that's the thing. So this one will just join up. Um, I should be able to just use the straight mode, I think. To go from there, though. And that goes through my thing, but I can move that. And then this one again, I'm missing the beams. All right, let's move this. This is kind of ugly and unneeded now, anyway. So we're doing 300 there. Don't need this sign anymore. So what should be happening in here, you'll see, is that this should be uh, dividing, splitting, dividing and conquering. Looks like it's working. That's why I don't like going up too high with belts sometimes, because you can't see what's going on them. Can go so 
So now... I just need to do this other line. So I just need more of those encased industrial beams. Is your computer or bad files? I've never had an issue with crashing before. Um, oh, Cosmic, you're still dealing with crashing? 35 minutes, wow. That's better than what you've been dealing with, that's for sure. That's very slow. How are we doing for tickets now? All right, all right. Definitely dumping our garbage is something we should have been doing before. Six tickets. Uh, I think... Probably... Man, catwats are expensive. Four for beams. Or do I want to go for a customizer? I don't know if I like the chrome paint. Or the unpainted. Probably chrome. Transformer chrome. Really what I'm missing are things like conveyor walls and gate holes and stuff. Three for that. And I think we need some angled foundations too. That's probably the good, the best way to do it. Y'all are so polite to one another. <laughs> it's re it's really nice. <laughs> I have a really nice Twitch chat. It's like the gophers from Warner Brothers. Like, no, after you. No, 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 after you. <laughs> I insist. <laughs> it's probably not enough, but whatever. I think I'm going to put these and gets into the awesome sink just to kind of get this rolling and see what it looks like. So right around, I think here is about where I'd want to try and do this. And I don't know. That's too long. And that kind of overlaps. But this is kind of what we need to do. It's like... I want to line it up to like there. And then we'll ditch the support because I don't think we really need to see it. And then from here, we just need to get more of these. Oh, it will fit. Cool. Just enough. There's our 300 going in. That should kick this thing up into full gear. I think having a walkway down the middle of this would look cool. And then on our output side, we have to connect these. And this is where we can have some fun with our smart splitter, because I don't want to interrupt this flow, but what I can do is use a smart splitter here, just for the time being, to add in some overflow. Uh, any, none, left, overflow. And I guess I'll do a merger up here. More beams required. Gets expensive.
This probably won't make it with the beam, so that's fine. So I'll take the excess iron from that side and dump it here. And then the other side, we can just try to connect to that if we wanted it to. Or we could just make another awesome sink. best option. long enough. Of course it's not. Of course it's not. See, I want them to give you a line for something that's farther away. Did that connect to? That is not what I aimed at. doesn't really matter because the bottleneck is going to be the one belt going in, so we don't really have to worry too much about the speed. But we should see a mix of green and yellow lights, and we should see a lot of stuff happening down here. Yeah. Oh, that's cool that uh, my stream lined up with your lunch break. Where is your lunch break that it's... Are you... Do you mind if I ask, Snuggly? Are you um, West Coast, USA? Work has been challenging lately. Oh, that's too bad. I'm glad that this has been a refuge, though. That's nice. I really appreciate that. Cosmic Dancer gifted a sub to Snuggly Boo Bear. Hey, Snuggly. You can join us in the Discord now. There's a link that Cosmic put in chat. And you can uh, hang out with us in between streams. That's awesome. Uh, Midwest by Work Remote for the West Coast. Okay, cool. I'm East Coast Canada, so it's uh, just coming up on 5 p.m. for me. Which means I have to go soon, which is too bad because I really wanted to do a lot more today, but... It's also hard to take screenshots because this is super ugly. I guess for now I could start to fill it in with 
some of this. I wanted to use catwalk stuff for that. Just to kind of make it look cool. But we can still take it out at a later date. So you can see how taking the foundations out of your blueprints really does facilitate the ability to come down here and quickly fill them in. But you can see what's going on so much better when you don't have the foundations when you're setting it up. You can see the machines, you can see their power nodes. So all the stuff that you want to do to fix it up, you can. We can also change the foundation colors back. So I don't really have any walls and I don't really have any other platforms and stuff that I can work with. We could start working on the inside, I guess, with these black bits. Um, I really feel like my my um, smelter should have a light on them. I'm pretty sure that my screenshots, like if I looked up old screenshots, I'm pretty sure that they have lights on them. Of course, all my screenshots of smelters are from the side. Oh, maybe they don't. Maybe it's the forge that I'm thinking of. So many of my screenshots are screenshots of refineries. Just because they look so cool. Yeah, I'll have to go looking. So I thought it could be cool to have like a catwalk coming up through here. I also want some lights in here. That's too much. I'd like to have like a long sign. Thank you, Cosmic. Appreciate it. So my idea was to have this as like your walkway and then this would be sort of the depth of the build. But that might be a little bit too narrow. Let's let's unlock the catwalks just to kind of see. Oh. Go for that extra purchase. Go awesome. Hmm. Metal pillars for two. Road barrier. Is there anything I can do for two? Stairs or two? Stairs might be cool. 
Two stairs. So maybe down the middle, what we could do is line up some stairs. So if I do foundations, and then I thought maybe catwalks. Now this might not look good. No. Unless I do the middle one. Building cannot be nudged. Really? Maybe if I change this to a foundation first. Looks a little bit funny, I'll give it that. Maybe the best thing to do is to have a foundation and have the catwalk go through it. Yes, I think that looks good. That's one idea that I had. That lines up nicely, but then how do we do... There's no real end, is there? I guess we could do like a catwalk ramp or something. There's also stairs. That unfortunately goes through the machine. I had not planned on. I don't have a barrier yet, but I could put a barrier there. That would probably work too. Although they don't really line up that well. I could just come straight down. That's pretty good. Can I access these from up here? Oh, sweet. Okay, that's cool. Things really start to open up once you start unlocking decoration parts. Ramunez, subscribing at, uh, with a Prime for 10 months. That's amazing. Thanks very much. I really appreciate the support. 10 months. My goodness. Coming up in a full year. It's amazing. I'm glad they're consistent with the Z fighting at least. That's good. Can I do a stair here or will it cut through, I wonder? That will cut through, but the ramp might not. Ah, oh, just barely. That's frustrating. Well, functionally right now, I think this is the way to go. They don't clip through anything here. That means we have a lot easier access to everything. 
That does feel kind of wide. Uh, I don't know that we have half stairs. I'm sure that's something that will be requested immediately since we have half foundations but not half stairs. I want to unlock more signs. And as far as the ceiling goes, probably going to be a couple, couple blocks above that again. What I'd like to do, and what I've been trying to think about, is the shape of the overall building. And one of the other images that I have, if I grab maybe the um, big image of Devastator. So if I switch this over... Satisfactory. So I really like Transformer Cybertron. Um, a War for Cybertron in the games. And that's a really cool sort of look for a vehicle. And I feel like if we had some sort of the, some of the shapes there, sort of goes along the lines with like what's happening there. And obviously as a robot. I like the vents, but I like the kind of arc shape it's going to be difficult to do an arc in the game but i feel like we could probably come up with some cool shapes so at some point in the middle i feel like it's going to be a little bit higher I feel like there might be a, a band here in the middle That'll make sense with something. Did I get those angled foundations? I think I did. No, I went for stairs, didn't I? Right. We do have ramps. So imagine... Maybe around here... Obviously not this low. But maybe have like some sort of roof there. But then have it be kind of like higher there and then not as high in other places. I think that could be kind of cool. Might have to go with something like this. And then the, the next part of the roof would maybe be lower, like here. So there'd be like this bump in the middle. I think that could look cool. Anyway. So this is not going to be running efficiently at all. But at least we got the, the guts working. And we can now start to uh, reevaluate the rest of this stuff and move the production of some of the things we need to a larger facility over here that will be more permanent and be able to put stuff in the storage. That's why I was looking for the Mercer Spheres earlier. Yeah, it'll be a be a hot minute before we have more tickets. Uh, where are we for? Um, is it the storage? They need one and ten, and we have four. Uh, it's not bad. Not bad. So it's one of those weird spots in the save where we're kind of in between. Uh, we have a lot of power for what we're doing right now. But we need to kind of ramp up and do proper production for things. 
Um, it is nice to see this all hooked up. I feel like I've given it a little bit too much space. I might try to rein in um, the width. I wanted to make sure I have enough depth for design. I don't think the wall is going to be this far out. I think some of the um, additional decorations might come out that way, but I think the actual walkway inside is going to be pretty, pretty tight. Um, I just want some light to come in um, from the windows and I can see actually a, uh, like a larger window out here. Um, maybe a strip down the middle because Ironhide does have that kind of like truck front window in his chest. And I think I'd like to try to incorporate that. So if you think about that robot, and you think about how if he laid down on his back and his um and I, I guess his head could be his head could be like down there and then we'd have that the glowy abdomen thing here or vice versa we could have the glowy abdomen in the middle and then we could have his head down here which would be the output um first time seeing the view thanks yeah i mean there's nothing underneath this anymore this has all been cleared out underneath and all of this iron is now going this way so none of this is actually working anymore uh with the exception no even the steel's not working so we've we've shut this all down uh so it's time to um time to move it uh, the only thing we've got going is just heavy uh is um modular frames and everything is just kind of being sent into the awesome sink for now so um i'll be back again tomorrow at one o'clock atlantic and in the meantime, I'm going to pass you on to somebody else playing Satisfactory. I'm not sure who's playing this late, but we will find someone, I'm sure. I uh, really appreciate everyone hanging out this afternoon. A couple of new folks uh, came in to say hi. Uh, thanks very much to Scotsman UK for the raid. Again, I don't think I mentioned it, but people in my community should go follow Scotsman UK. They do some really fantastic Minecraft stuff. I don't know if they stream Satisfactory or not. I think they play around with it, but I, I don't think they stream it yet. Uh, you can, of course, follow me on social media at Joel Duggan. I'm very easy to find. Uh, Spawn Chunks podcast and the Citadel Cafe podcast are both um, podcasts of mine. They're free. They're available on YouTube. Just do a quick search for them. You will find my face on the Spawn Chunks as well as Johnny's. And of course, the Citadel Cafe is just an audio show, but it's easy to find that way too. Um, thanks very much for the support. Thanks for people that signed up for Patreon. It's only $2 a month. It keeps me streaming. Uh, there are some changes coming to Patreon. It'll be a lot easier for people to have a consistent way of supporting me on Patreon. And I'm also going to be um, sharing some of the blueprints. So this blueprints uh, that you can see in the save where I was doing the smelting, that will be available for people to download if they want to use it in their own saves. So uh, check out the Patreon and bug me on Discord if I don't put that save up there in the next couple of days. I, uh, I really need to get on top of that. So thanks very much, folks. I will see you tomorrow at 1 o'clock Atlantic. Bye for now.